It is dawn in Belize, a small country nestled on the Yucatan Peninsula, just south of Mexico. The sun will soon rise over the waters of Shipstern Lagoon, one of the largest inland lagoon systems of Belize. In the heart of this area of great beauty lies Shipstern Nature Reserve, a protected area and a haven for many species of animals and plants. The Shipstern Peninsula is a bridge between the dry tropics of the Yucatan Peninsula and the wetter regions of Central America. It hosts an astounding mosaic of habitats, from rare coastal forests such as the Cuca Palm Dry Forest, to mangroves, seasonal and semi-deciduous forests, seasonally flooded forests, saline savannas, and marshes. Covering almost 100 square kilometers, Shipstern is home to abundant wildlife, thanks to its isolation and the protection it has received over the past 25 years. Shipstern's animal species include the threatened Baird's tapir, the collared peccary, the white-lipped peccary, which is now classified as a vulnerable species, two kinds of deer, curassows, toucans, parrots, and almost 300 other species of birds. All of Belize's five cat species roam Shipstern's forests in search of prey. The mighty jaguar, the powerful puma, and the ocelot, margay, and jaguarundi. The lagoon, marshes, and mangroves are home to large colonies of birds, including American wood storks, roseate spoonbills, and the rare reddish egrets. Heron species, such as the boat-billed heron, the tricolored heron, and the blue heron, as well as many other wading birds. In waterways and ponds, both the American and Morlet crocodiles patiently wait for birds and mammals to make a false move. Shipstern Nature Reserve was created in 1989 when the Papierama Zoo in Switzerland and the Royal Burger Zoo in the Netherlands decided to join efforts to directly protect tropical forests. To fund these efforts, both zoos encouraged their visitors to take part in saving tropical forests and pledged to send all donations received into the field. In Belize, Shipstern is run by a nonprofit organization called the Corazal Sustainable Future Initiative, or CSFI. CSFI was created for the purpose of managing Shipstern Nature Reserve in order to save the last lowland forests of northeastern Belize. In 2013, the government of Belize recognized CSFI's 25 years of hard work protecting Shipstern and asked CSFI to expand its efforts and take over the management of Honey Camp National Park and the Freshwater Creek Forest Reserve, both located 15 miles to the southwest of Shipstern. Still extensively covered in forests, these areas represent the last strongholds of nature in the lowlands of northeastern Belize. Despite both being legally protected areas, since their creation they had never been effectively protected and were at high risk of being deforested. Indeed, in a few places, it was already happening. True to its mission, CSFI accepted this challenge and now proudly protects through all three reserves combined more than 235 square kilometers of tropical nature, more than 1% of the total area of Belize. This permission is valid for the following days. This permit is valid until the next it is like everything else, you know, things have to be managed properly. You know, you need people to manage money, you need people to manage people, you need people to manage, you know, uh, learning and things like that. And I believe that our responsibility, and we have a great responsibility, is to manage these areas and to protect these things so that the future generations will be able to appreciate what we have right now. I think we have a great responsibility to our children as well, in that they should be able to enjoy these things that we are able to enjoy. I love what I do because I believe that it's not only nice doing it, but it's, a, it's important. It's something that we have to do. When Shipstern was created in 1989, many people wondered why nature reserves were being created when there seemed to be forests everywhere. Today the answer is clear. Northeastern Belize, the only place in the country where seasonal lowland rainforests are found, has by far the highest deforestation rate in the country 
and the pace of destruction has recently reached alarming levels. Forests are very rapidly being converted into large-scale industrial agriculture over vast areas covering thousands of hectares. Unfortunately, all this is happening with little or no planning. The possibility of creating wildlife corridors between protected areas still exists, but time is running out. In collaboration with the government of Belize, CSFI is working to create such a corridor between Shipstern, Honey Camp, and Freshwater Creek. It is clearly high time to save what can still be saved. Protecting tropical forests requires being in the field day after day. CSFI wardens are all special police constables and represent the forest department in and around protected areas. A typical day includes long patrols on foot or by car, manning checkpoints, and explaining the essence of the law to local citizens who might try to log or hunt in protected areas. Patrols often take place in areas so remote that camping in the field is necessary. When wardens are not in the forest, they welcome visitors at Shipstern headquarters, guiding tourists through the reserves, or taking school children around the visitor facilities. Some people say that they don't really care because the forest don't help them with nothing. But so to, today there is a lot of talk about the need to protect forests, but uh, paradoxically actually uh, there are hardly any funds reaching the field. And, you know, this is in a context where 80% of um, uh, protected areas worldwide are actually underfunded and understaffed. And this has consequences, because if you can't ensure the proper surveillance of a protected area, then um, encroachment, poaching, illegal logging uh, will take place, and, and sooner than later. And even worse, that once a protected area is invaded and uh, deforestation takes place, then very often governments will downsize it or declassify it, and, and this is really a problem. So, in, in view of this, we believe that it is really essential to invest 100% of our donations in the field where they are needed, uh, actually in order to prevent all these things. And uh, our teams are composed mostly of wardens who relentlessly, day after day, patrol these areas. And um, this means we thus pay for salaries, equipment, fuel and, and community engagement, which is also very important. And I think in the 21st century, uh, it's really the only way to effectively uh, protect biodiversity. We will not be able to save all the forests in the world. Nevertheless, we are committed to saving these beautiful, biodiverse, lowland seasonal forests of Belize and to protect them over the very long term. Please help, as we can't do all this without your support. We guarantee that whatever you donate to this project will go straight to Belize, with no overheads. CSFI does not have a fancy office in the city. We are right in the middle of the forest, striving to keep administrative costs at a strict minimum. Your money will fund what is really needed, the protection of Shipstern, Honey Camp, and Freshwater Creek, day after day, year after year. Thank you.